Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're taking a look here at Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, LDAP, is an open vendor neutral industry standard for application protocols for accessing and maintaining distributed directory information services over IP networks. So a common use of LDAP is to provide a central place to store users and uh, usernames and passwords. LDAP enables for same sign-on. So same sign-on allows users to uh, use a single ID and password, but they'll have to enter it every single time they want to log in. So the idea is you might have an Active Directory uh, server on premise, and it's going to synchronize with an LDAP uh, directory. So you can get access to things to like Google Cloud, Kubernetes, Jenkins. And you're noticing that I'm not listing out generic web apps. These are more kind of like heavy duty um, workloads because that's where LDAP kind of uh, is used a lot, okay? So why use LDAP when SSO, SSO is more convenient? Because with SSO, you don't have to enter your password and username every single time. Well, the thing is SSO systems are often built on top of LDAP, but LDAP was not designed natively to work with web applications. Uh, so you don't do single sign-on with LDAP, and a lot of times you just don't see direct integration with them. So you'll see LDAP more on on-premise or using DevOps workloads like Kubernetes or Jenkins. So some systems only support integration with LDAP and not SSO, so there's just times when you have to use it, okay?